Rip Van Winkle. Rip Van Winkle was a lazy man. He slept the whole day. His wife tried her best to get Rip Van Winkle take up a job. When he did get a job, he was asked to leave because he slept too much. One day, Rip Van Winkle, tired of his wife telling him to get a job, ran up a mountain with his favorite companion, his dog. He reached the top, crossed a stream, went to a spot where nobody ever came, and he sat down there. He had never had so much exercise in his life. He was just getting back his breath when he heard someone call his name. Rip Van Winkle. Strange. Nobody knows me here. Then who is calling me? Thought Rip Van Winkle. He turned around and saw a funny-looking man carrying a big barrel. The funny-looking man said, Please help me carry this barrel to my friends, a little below the stream. Answer orally, What do you think was in the barrel? Rip Van Winkle had climbed so far up the mountain to avoid work. Here was a man asking for help. He first decided to refuse, but then thought, Let me help the poor man, then I can rest. So he and the funny-looking man walked down to a cave in the mountain below the stream. There, Rip Van Winkle saw many other funny-looking men. All of them were playing. They ignored him. As soon as the barrel was placed on the ground, the men pulled out mugs, dipped them into the barrel and drank something. It was a strange, sweet drink. Rip Van Winkle, too, dipped a mug in the barrel and drank it. It tasted good. He had one more mug. After having three mugs, he fell asleep. When he awoke, he saw that all the funny-looking men had gone. He called out to his dog, but there was no response. He could not believe he had slept the whole day and night. He got up. His joints ached. As he started walking back home, he saw the village down below, which somehow seemed changed. When he entered the village, he saw new faces. All the people looked at him and rubbed their chins. Seeing them do this, Rip Van Winkle did the same. To his surprise, he found that he had grown a foot-long beard overnight. Rip Van Winkle was puzzled. He believed that he knew most of the village folks well. But today, he could not see anyone who was known to him. The children made fun of him, running behind him. Rip Van Winkle stopped by a place where there had been a school and asked the crowd that had gathered, Where is Shuna, the schoolmaster? Somebody said, Oh, Shuna, he went to war in 63 and never came back. And uh, Van Dammel? asked Rip Van Winkle. He died 18 years back said another voice in the crowd. Rip Van Winkle thought, Am I going mad? Had I slept all these years on the mountain? Finally, Rip Van Winkle asked, Does anyone here remember Rip Van Winkle? A woman said, Yes, he was my father. He went up the mountains 21 years back, but never returned. His dog came back without him. Rip Van Winkle was overjoyed. He said, Daughter, it is me, Rip Van Winkle. Don't you recognize me? Oh, my father, it is really you. Where have you been all this while? said his daughter. Father and daughter hugged each other. Rip Van Winkle had indeed slept for 21 years. <laughs>